Welcome to Charts Today. My name is David Linton and today's edition for Wednesday the 4th of November comes to you from London and we start by looking at the dollar index. Uh, of course we're now sitting on the US election result and really waiting to see what happens there so there is some uncertainty in markets. We've seen the dollar falling away here but then actually rising uh, back to the levels we were at yesterday so sharp rise there this morning the dollar still looking like we bottomed in September. Remember this is my long term, medium term and short term view of the market. Weekly, daily and 60 minute with the corresponding point and figure charts. So <coughs> we look at the euro we see here we're lower uh, against the dollar. We've, we had a bit of a rise yesterday going into the election, but we've fallen away sharply this morning. So it is still about the euro rolling over dollar strength, euro weakness. And if you look at sterling, we're sitting at 129.31. Uh, so we did see a rise there yesterday in that weaker dollar, but again, that dollar strength coming back. So sterling below the 130 mark. Looking at Bitcoin, sitting at $13,600, so still holding on to those multi-year highs, that's looking strong. US stock markets were up sharply yesterday, we saw the S&P 500 index recovering, so we've had a very good start to this week after a very bad week last week, um, but we are of course still bearish below the cloud on the short term chart. The same occurs for the NASDAQ, and we are seeing there um, that fall as well. The S&P uh, future this morning is down half a percent and interesting the Nasdaq E-mini is up one percent uh, a Trump victory seen as positive for um, FANG stocks whereas Biden victory wouldn't be so it'd be interesting to see how that goes looking at the market volatility we're seeing and that's still holding above the 30 level, so still the fear index is quite high for the market. We're seeing the Europe down this morning, just reacting to this uncertainty around the US election. It's probably going to weigh on markets, so we're seeing the FTSE future down 1%, the DAX in Germany down 1% as well, and 1.5%, uh, and the CAC current down 1.2%. We did see Tokyo up 1.3% overnight, so that's looking stronger. The Hang Seng was down slightly, China was up slightly, India was up slightly, and the Aussie market was down slightly. So markets pricing um, really waiting for the um, election result to be clearer. Gold is sitting still below the 1900 level. It's short-term bullish, though. Um, so it is holding on there, um, and the long-term chart is still looking very strong indeed. And silver um, also... Um, just holding on to short term bullish. The big moves yesterday were in the bond yields. We saw bond yields really rising steadily and then falling away really sharply this morning. Massive move there for bond yields. This is just highlighting the uncertainty in US markets. As for the energy mix, it's pretty red today. We're seeing uh, Brent crude down just slightly. Still, it did recover quite strongly yesterday um, and that's putting us into short term bullish. But of course, the failure to make this uh, higher high and making the lower low will way over the market and we do still have a downside target to 37 on the one minute chart so don't be surprised to see that move there. US Nat Gas holding $3 so that's looking quite good. Uh, we're seeing coal down 1% this morning. Uh, we're seeing the energy mix coming back having risen quite sharply so we are just seeing uh, th that all the uh, energy prices just falling. Um, that's it for today. Until tomorrow, happy charting. See you then.